All right, so Slovenia National Championships with individual time trial was on Sunday, and old Tade Bojaccia beat Primoz Roglic. Beat him by nine seconds, which I thought was very unexpected. So if you haven't seen, uh, Tade Bojaccia did the first bit on the road bike, um, which you can see here, and the second half, um, obviously where he's no power, he did on a time trial bike. Now, we're going to analyse his data, we're going to add some Roglic data from earlier in the year, we're going to see why this is actually a very odd result. So, first of all, we'll just analyse the beginning of the time trial, which was 420 watts for 19 minutes, which is 6.3 watts per kilo. Lantern said that he weighs a little less, potentially, um, so, you know, it could be more like 6.5 for 20 minutes, which, you know, is very, very solid. There's no denying that. Um, but it's what, what I expect for a world tour, time trial, what world tour climber like him. Um, that's, you know, sort of, it's not off the chart, it was like 6.8 and you vote well, but, you know, 6.5 is, is sort of what we expect. Um, and there were some steep parts, so you can see here, sort of like, on the really, really steep parts, this 10% part, he's doing 6.8 watts per kilo for 6 minutes halfway through. Um, and it, I don't think there were time tracks on the course, unfortunately, but you can see, you know, he's, he's riding super strong. Obviously, now he has no data, so we're going to go over to the time trial data, and obviously, oh, it's Pogacar, he has no power data, so it's hard to tell what he would have done, but assuming he would have gone slightly less, I would assume that, you know, he would have obviously negatively, uh, positively split it, because his top bit is a lot flatter, um, so potentially he would have done maybe, you know, 6, 6.2 watts per kilo overall, something like that, which is very, very good, um, but Primoz Roglic, in my opinion, I think would have beaten this and should have beaten this if he was on top condition. So generally, Primus Roglic would be seen as a better time trialist in their performances. If we look at both their performances, obviously this is not going to be a sort of a crude way of doing it. But time trial, he's ranked 2,516, time trial 231. So, you know, like, obviously that's a very crude way of doing it. And he is a good time trialist for sure, but he's not, you know, he's not going to be up as good as Primus Roglic. I mean, he's not going to come top three in the world, etc. Um, but anyway, if we go over to Freeman's Roglic, now this file is very, very secret and it's very hard to find. Um, but you can see this is um, obviously different start time trial, but I think it shows you the level that Freeman's Roglic is at. So this is four and a half hours, 310 normalized. Um, we're going to assume they were the same weight because I think, you know, that's what I've heard. But anyway, you can, we can see some of the efforts he was doing. And then this is why I think he should have been in if he was on top condition. So the first is like 5.6 watts per kilo for 27 minutes. So that's like, you know, tempo. Um, then we have this climb here, which again, I don't think he goes super, super hard on. Um, it goes harder at the end, but again, 5.4 watts per kilo. So this is like looking like a tour stage, isn't it? And you'll be like, what, Charlie, why is this relevant to a time trial? And you'll see at the end. Um, then we have this little climb here again. So you can see he's just climbing at like 5.5 watts per kilo pretty comfortably. Um, 5.5 to 5.6 watts per kilo, which is what you do in the tour. Maybe a little bit less, maybe like 5.2 watts per kilo. And then the last climb, he goes absolutely maximal and does 6.4 watts per kilo for 24 minutes up the Madonna. Now, this is why I think he should have been there, because Primoz Roglic um, could do 6.4 watts per kilo for half an hour. Obviously, it's on a climb, time trial climb, slightly different, but Pogaccio did the first bit on a road bike. This is on the 16th of March. This was just before he was about to do Tirreno. He hadn't actually raced. Um, if we look at Primoz Roglic this year, he hasn't raced at all. His plan was to do Tirreno, I think, and then get into the Tour. Um, obviously, it's change of um, change of scenery now, but... This is why I think that he should have won, because he's a better time trialist. He's shown that when he has the best form, that he has more power. And obviously, you know, this is a long time ago, but I think it, it shows that he wasn't in the best condition, because if he was, he would have beaten Pagaccia for sure, because on this first climb, you know, we can assume that he's doing 6.4 watts per kilo. Well, we already know that Obroglic, who's done, like, how much work had he done? has already done 3,000 kilojoules of work, to can then do 6.4 watts per kilo for 25 minutes. If that's the case, which is what you really need to be able to do to win the tour or win, you know, a grand tour, you need to be able to do 6.4 watts per kilo on the final climb for like 20 minutes, half an hour after 3,000 kilojoules of work. So Pogaccio can probably do the similar, maybe not exactly the same, but you can see the level here is obviously significantly lower because 6.4 watts per kilo for 20 minutes is obviously good, but you've obviously you've got time trial afterwards, but it's not, um, what I expect. However, potentially he did actually maintain 6.4 watts per kilo for the whole thing, and then for like 34, 30 minutes or whatever it was, that the, the winning time was 
uh, 31 minutes, then maybe, you know, that would have been pretty tough for Roglic to beat. But I think Roglic is probably more aero, better better T-tiered in general. So in my opinion, I think if Roglic was in the best condition, both on equal condition, Roglic would have beaten Pogacar by a decent amount. Um, however, the only there's only one thing, I keep contradicting myself, but Pogacar's power data is always a little bit lower than expected. Um, maybe it's because he weighs slightly less in real life than he does on Strava, but it always seems a little bit too low um, for what I think. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. What are your thoughts about the Slovenian boys? I think they're going to rip up the tool. Um, it's going to be interesting. And what are your thoughts of this power data? Because this is some good stuff. It's some tasty power data, that's for sure. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.